Jose Oliva is a 75-year-old El Paso Texan who served his country in the Vietnam War and then spent a career in state and federal law enforcement. The rest of my career was in law enforcement. I got promoted and got picked up as a special agent. I carry a weapon and a badge and I completed my 25 years of uh, government service. I'm done. I retire. In February of 2016, Jose had a scheduled dental appointment at his local VA hospital in El Paso, Texas. That day, he got in line like he had many times before. He placed his belongings in a bin to be x-rayed and was proceeding toward a metal detector. Just a normal day for me and a bunch of other veterans. We got in line. I empty my pockets of my personal belongings. When one of the VA police officers asked him where his ID was, Jose explained that it was in the bin. One of those uh, guards, he said, show me your ID. And I responded to him, my ID is in the bin. He didn't like that answer. He asked me again, show me your ID. And my response to him was, it's in the bin. With my left index finger pointing to the bin. Well, that did it. He was reaching to the back of his duty belt. He went to his handcuff pouch and he pulled them out. I just had the, the worst feeling in the, my throat that something bad was about to happen. The VA police officer then came around the security checkpoint and pointed for Jose to go through the metal detector. As soon as I crossed the metal detector, the big guy pulled my arm as high as he could and I heard a pop on my, my shoulder. Then he pulled my arm from the top to the back of my, of the small of my back and I heard another pop from the left shoulder and they blew my eardrum. Sam might pick me up and put the handcuffs on me, drag me to an office. The whole shoulder area, including the rotator cuff, are shot. Within a week, I was on the, under the upper end table. They cut about a two inch incision from about here to almost the top of the uh, bone joint. If your constitutional rights are violated by a federal worker, the only avenue for accountability is through a doctrine called Bivens. Bivens against six unknown agents. Bivens refers to a U.S. Supreme Court case decided in 1971. In that case, Webster brought direct claims under the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution against the agents. And the U.S. Supreme Court allowed those claims to go forward. The Fifth Circuit created a very strange situation in this case because one of the reasons that they said Jose couldn't bring claims under Bivens is that what happened to him is actually worse than what happened to Webster Bivens. The court said because Jose was choke slammed to the floor in a VA hospital instead of just being handcuffed in front of his family in his apartment, that this is a new case and therefore Jose can't bring claims against these federal police. IJ is standing with Jose Oliva in this case to ensure that regardless of where when or who violates your Fourth Amendment rights, you can go to court and do something about it. Jose's case is the most recent case in IJ's project on immunity and accountability, which is aimed at getting rid of all the special protections that shield government officials, state, local, and federal, from accountability when they violate individual rights. What they did to me was wrong, violated my constitutional rights. I am fighting not only on my personal behalf, but on behalf of every single veteran, especially my brothers and sisters who served with me in the jungles of Vietnam, 